Good morning guys, so today we are, me and my sister, we're going to go to Trentham Gardens, we're going to go to a place called Willow, which we went before, I'll insert some pics of the food of what we had last time, if I've still got them here, and it was to die for, we absolutely loved it, it's probably like our new favourite place now, so I thought I'd film today, I don't know how much I'm going to be filming, but because we are going to be going to obviously somewhere to eat, and we're going to be going around Trentham Gardens and stuff, so not actually around the gardens, around the shops, um, and I got some cute bits from there last time we went, so I got these from a shop called Trove in Trentham, and then I also got that from a shop called, I think, Design 44, and I want to try and find some more bits like this. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I, like I said, don't know how much I'm going to film because I don't know how much Harriet is going to want to be in the video. But I thought if I pick the camera up at all and I'll just show you what we're doing. And I thought I'd take you along anyway. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to show you my outfit. It's not anything. Oh, you're quite backlit there and gone. That's probably better. So I'm just wearing my Couture Club tracksuit that Ash got me for Christmas. This is my favourite tracksuit ever. Um, so comfortable and then I'm just wearing my white crocs with it basically just chill vibes comfy vibes so yeah stay white they're probably more beige now with how dirty they are <laughs> you'll have to excuse what I look like as well my hair is kind of like having a bit of a mad one and I look very tired and I have broken out but I'm very excited because last time we went we had this really really nice it was like um matcha and like passion fruit smoothie or something like that and i'm so having that again today i don't know what i'm gonna have for breakfast yet i had a really nice like egg plate last time but i don't think i'm gonna have the same again because i'm kind of like not eating eggs As you know guys we did that like little plant thingy we need a bigger pot so like this might be better how much is it i like the color this is the kind of color that i think we need it's so pretty look at these so cute so cute i love that found this little vase which is four pound that i'm gonna find a space for it in the living room i think i don't even know if it does it even really go like it's navy in it it does go and then i've also found this pot which is in the sale which is gonna replace the one in the kitchen because the plants in the kitchen that we've got are a little bit cramped at the moment in that little pot but Yeah, you wet it and it gets thingy. It's like hand painted, isn't it? It's like actual someone's artwork. Right. Yeah, I love these. These are alive. You've got to have a big house for things like this, though. You know what makes me laugh is I actually did my GCC artwork on this artist. I don't know his name or her name, but I literally did like animals painted over newspaper. <laughs> so cute. Seen this and I keep pointing it out to Ash and I think I want to get it because there was a board in like Trove 
like not this board but like i think i want like something stood up in the kitchen a bit more green love this whole love these I love this whole wall, like, like, cute, cute, that'd be nice in the living room. Yeah, because I couldn't even be asked to try and get the thingy out if I used them. I love this idea as well. Yeah, was drawn to like these. I want to bite it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like this kind of. Oh, that's a lot lighter than what I thought it was. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be why then. Tentham Gardens is legit like my favourite place. Like this is just my vibe through and through. So I bought some flapjack for Ash and we bought some like can cannelloni, pistachio and white chocolate flavour and then I am buying this pot. I put the navy one back. But um, yeah, this is what I'm going to get. We tried some of the white chocolate and we also tried the pistachio. The pistachio is better and then I bought this for Ash. A um, salty caramel flapjack. I did buy the pot in the end but I'm worried it's not going to fit on the windowsill. But we'll wait and see. We're just driving to Home Sense now. I'm currently crying. At the, has anyone seen the Jamie Carrier? <laughs> We've basically finished at Trentham Gardens. So we're going to Home Sense now. But I've just shown Harriet the video. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Jamie Carragher, I'm gonna have to insert it. The gap. Whoa! The gap. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, he fucked. Oh, there's the cover I'm moving. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought that was falling. <laughs> Body. <laughs> I thought I tipped it. Oh my god. I thought, I thought it had gone. Oh my god. I thought it was in more trouble. The gap. Whoa! Oh. The gap. Whoa! The gap. Whoa! Oh. Because up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. Basically, he thinks the screen's falling. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna insert it. Whoa! <laughs> Literally dying. <laughs> oh god. The gap. Whoa! Oh. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later now. I'm back and this is the goods. So let me try and show you if I move the camera to here. So this is the one that we bought and Ash bought me this which came with a plant from Tesco and unfortunately the plant from Tesco was pretty much dead when Ash bought it, bless him. But we thought, oh, because this is quite crowded, oh shit, <laughs> this is quite crowded um, and Um, and um, and <laughs> I think I've I've killed the cactus. I think I've killed the cactus. Oh dear! Any plant people? Can you let me know what the red stuff is, and can you let me know why it's got no stem on it anymore? It's literally just fell out of there. Um, not good, not good at all. Um, and that's gonna be so funny to watch back. It literally fell out onto my hand. That's so painful. Oh my God, if anyone knows how painful it is for a cactus to like um, think of their hand, like catch, catch your hand, honestly, it's painful. But anyway, so you can 
let me try and hold them up next to each other. Obviously, the cactus has fell out, which is not a volume. But yeah, you can kind of see straight away the difference. It fits perfectly on the windowsill as well. Compared to this one, this is so small and cramped. And the stones in it have already started to go a little bit like bleached. So as you can see, the stones are already starting to go with like a creamy beige colour. And I don't know any garden experts let me know. Is that because it's been up on the windowsill and the sun's done that? Or is that because I've watered it? But you can kind of see the plants are struggling. Like they're slightly dying. They need more space. So this is what the one on the windowsill is going to look like. It's much bigger, but it ties the whole of the green of like the living room together i'm really hoping i haven't just killed that can anyone let me know why there's red stuff coming off it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take what's out of here and put it in here basically and hopefully it's going to be healthier do you know what i mean so obviously like i said in the last video <laughs> i'm no plant expert i have no idea that if these plants should even go together or what so let me know if obviously I'm putting plants that are like toxic for each other to be next to each other um, because I have no idea and yeah we'll just kind of give it a go basically uh, but as much as I'm not a plant expert me and Ashley are definitely right in the fact that that is too crowded and you can kind of see it's kind of like trying to fall out of its space so I'm gonna hopefully bring them back to life a little bit. So I've just taken the containment, the containment? No, what's the word? What's in there out um, and put the old soil in there. It was quite waterlogged. So I'm guessing it was just very cramped, which we already know, not gonna lie um i've made an absolute mess considering i cleaned the kitchen yesterday but what i'm gonna go and do is i'm gonna go and take this and put some more soil in this um so i'll be back in a moment so i've got to fill some soil up i don't know i feel like we filled up too much soil last time as well which i don't know if you can have too much soil but i feel like it was too like what's the word no i need more soil oh, for god's sake right i'm gonna go and put some more soil in if I put this in and then put more soil around it, is that a good idea? No, I need more soil. Right. <sighs> right, I'm hoping this is going to work. If not, I'm going to regret not even just buying the pot in general because it's a waste of money. But, like, um, uh, what's the word? I feel like I've killed the cactus. Like I don't know why it's bleeding like red, if anyone can let me know. Um I feel like you're not really supposed to water cactuses as much as they have. I feel like I've put things in here that aren't supposed to go together. And I'm either killing I am killing them. Oh, I think I've ruined this guys. <laughs> I should have just bought a new plant. I tried to save some money and just buy the pot. I actually think I've made it just look dreadful. I'm, I'm making a mess. Like, yeah. I think this is a bit of a fail, guys. <sighs> Note to self, need to buy a new plant and chuck these, which is such a waste of money. Unless I try and put them back in there. But I've made that much of a mess. Oh my God, let me show you. So not only have I got some on the floor, but probably not wise to do this in your kitchen that you cleaned yesterday. Yeah, I feel like I've ruined it. I don't know what to do. This is where Ash would come in and be like, oh, why don't you just put it all back? Or why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? I feel like the pot is now actually too big for the type of plants. And like I said, I'm not educated on what plants go with what. So I don't know if I've put like plants together. Like why, why was the cactus bleeding? Did the cactus bleed? Like, 
and I probably shouldn't have done it in this tracksuit either um because I can just fill it up with more soil but even then I think I've just killed the plants I feel like we've spent money on these plants and I've ruined them right I'm gonna try and salvage it a little bit I don't know if they just need to grow a bit or the fact that I've squished them that much that I've just killed every little ounce of whatever it was that we had because even if I fill stones in that now I just think it's gonna look stupid right let me just try and if not me and Ash on the weekend or something we'll try and go back to Trent's film and get a plant just one plant fit for purpose for that this was Ash's idea I'm blaming him it's his fault <laughs> So, in answer to our question, guys, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I wish I either just had left it and unfortunately let the plants die, which is not fair, but just left it and obviously if it's crowded, it's crowded, just let them die and re -bought a plant for either that plant part or left that as it was and just bought a plant for this one because this is what it looks like now it looks silly because they're so small and i suppose they'll grow i'm hoping oh, God. so this is it now i need to tidy and wipe the windowsill because i've got like soil and everything everywhere but this is what it looks like now i think i love the vase i think i mean i know i like the vase but i don't know if i feel like it's now too big on the windowsill but i'm stuck Okay, the more I look at it, the more I don't dislike it, if that makes sense. I just feel like it's going to take some time to get used to. But I do think personally, now looking at it, I think we need... Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry it's backlit, guys. I know the lighting's probably not great. But I feel like we just need maybe a plant like this, but like a big version, just one. Can you let me know in the comments, guys, if I've killed all the plants and if they just need scrapping? So guys, I'm waiting for Ashley to come home. I am gonna show him the part and see what he thinks. Um, I also just wanted to do a little segment here just to say a massive thank you to our neighbour Linda. Obviously, I don't know if she watches our YouTube, but if you do, I just wanted to say a massive thank you. Not only are you an absolutely amazing neighbour anyway, but she knocked on our door yesterday and just offered one of the nights um or one of the days when we were out if she wouldn't mind just weeding our like our walkway which we have a communal walkway as she's literally just pulled up as you can see here we have a communal walkway so we share this her splits off and our splits off and ours was looking terrible to say the least we had literally weeds everywhere not only did she offer to do that she's also sorted out the shrubbery at the back of like our driveway so we just wanted to say a massive thank you i'm gonna get ash to come with me to go to the supermarket now to get her some flowers to say thank you because that was extremely kind of her and we never expected her to a to do that b the fact that she even offered that's so kind but also the effort that she's gone into like she's done such a massive job and honestly we need people like her in this world how kind hearted and like just such a lovely person we're very very lucky with our neighbors the stereotypical like everyone a new build estate blah 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 is a load of tosh on our estate let's say that um we have the loveliest neighbors and yeah we just want to say thank you to linda i'm just going to show you what she's done because she's done a fantastic job here he is look linda done that. yeah oh God, amazing. i'm gonna go get some flowers yeah. Look, she's done all out here, all of our walkway. Like, honestly, it looks brand new. It looks like we've just freshly moved out. So, yeah, we're going to pop to Tesco, get her some flowers. And I mean, she's just been having a little high five and her excitement over the fact we know she likes scones because she gives us scones a lot. So, we're going to get some nice scones, I think. Um, but I can't honestly believe how kind hearted some people are and that's what I strive to be in life is just as kind as that honestly so amazing so yeah I'm gonna f um I'm not forcing actually that's not 
I've asked Ashley if he wants to come with me and he is. We're going to go now, get some, some flowers and some scones for our lovely neighbour Linda. So we're currently on the way to Tesco. We're going to get some flowers, either some scones or like a fruit cake or something like that. And Ashley, I showed Ashley the pot and he agrees that he thinks it's the pot is now too big for the flowers that are in it, so that either means we need to add flowers or get rid of them, if not got, flowers, the plants, just... or get just one big one that's designed for a plant of that size, a uh, yeah, pot of that size. You need something that's like shallowish, mm. but bigish, yeah, but not too big for the windowsill. It is what it is. It's you know, we're just we're, it's all a learning curve, we're not gardeners, so we'll just wait and see. <laughs> Probably not the right time to start this, but... That is going to take you years. Yeah, and I know. You're already given up. Had enough. Had enough already. The only reason why I want to do it is because the strimmer's broke and when you come to ho Hoover, when you come <laughs> to vac... Not vacuum. <laughs> when you come to mow the lawn... We just mow the lawn. But if you look down there... You can see all the bits down the yeah, side. Yeah, like the long bits. Yeah, so it's like... And for anyone who's wondering about Ash's hair, he's starting the mullet. Let's come, come in, come in, let's have a look. Oh, you've got to come closer, the lighting's a bit dark. It's like the back lit. He's starting a mullet. But I'm not, it's only going to be like another two weeks, three weeks, four weeks of growth on the back yeah. and then it'll be that length. Sorry if the lighting's really dark, guys. It's because obviously the sun's coming from like this direction. Yeah, I'm not having like a pig's tail. I'm just freestyling this line as well. Yeah, so it's going to be like wonky as anything. Possibly. Do you care there? Mm, no. Mm. So basically, guys, we've just been and done the food shop and Ash said that he was going to come out while the weather's nice because we're having some nice weather this weekend. He thought he'd come out and start the garden, which is something that he's said he's going to do for the last... How many weeks? How many years? How many years? Um, he's going to jet wash all the front of the house, de-weed all the front of the house and... Yeah, de-weed all the front of the house and then he's going to like cut away at the border and then we're going to like through here where you can see like here, going to soil it here, going to soil it here. Sorry, I'm filming through the gap, through the gap and put some flowers and then he's going to do it all along the border on both sides. And we're going to put some flowers all the way down and then it will help him obviously not having to mow the lawn. Because of the fence. So, and we're gonna have some pretty flowers in the garden, add some colour, just you know, some bright colours all along down here and down here. Make it look pretty. A reasonably cheap way of doing your garden. He's already had enough. But this was the table and chairs that we've got, guys. So, Ashy's mum kindly gifted this to us. And I think when the flowers are there, done behind it here, like here, it'll look pretty. Oh yeah. It's stunning. So, yeah. I have got that liner that I might get find out to dig out. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it is. I brought it ages ago. I'm currently sat here just drinking some water while he's going to be doing the garden. We're going to sprinkle some of this on it as well. Um, because living in a new build, the grass goes a little bit funny. 